The long-awaited Halo Infinite April update has just gone live, and it comes with a Season 2 roadmap, but there's some sad parts about it. But let's just jump right into this blog. Also, my apologies for being away for a while. I've just been super sick and been feeling like ass. So I decided to take some time off, but this is just too big of news to not share with you guys right now. And no webcam because I still feel and look like ass. Well, let's get right into it. Well, they say that this blog is here to talk about season two and also season two and for the rest of the year, which is okay. Okay, rest of the year already? Okay, let's get into it. And rest of the year, as in the roadmap that we've been talking about since January has finally come around for us guys. And so you got a chance to see what's coming out with season two roadmap. That's pretty cool. And they do state times exactly are subject to change, which of course is the nature of development. But you talk about the two new maps, they talk about the new modes. Interesting here, they got the narrative events, which is the interference which happens between May 3rd through the 16th, and then Alpha Pack, July 19th through August 1st. We'll see how that plays out. We haven't had anything like that in season one, so that should hopefully keep the content interesting during the extended season two. Yeah, you heard me right. Right, because season three is set to launch on November 8th. Yeah, so it's gonna be another six months of one season, which when I hear that, I'm like, oh, right in the chest, man. That one hurts. That one hurts, man. Right, hit me right in the gut on that one. I just hope that this time 343 has six months at least worth of content when it comes to this game, instead of like last time where season one was really three months worth of content stretched over six months. Also, campaign network co-op is pushed to late August for the target of when that's gonna be released. When it said during season two, I was like, okay, so probably like, you know, late May, maybe June or something like that but no late august we're also gonna get campaign mission replay in late august as well as a forge open beta happening in september so my assumption with that that is that forge is probably still targeted to release in season three it's just that season three is happening in november i certainly expected things like content and updates to come around much more often since this first six months you had enough time to hopefully fix around with a bunch of stuff you wanted with the game but it seems like they need, well, more time, which is understandable, but it just hits me right in the gut, man. Which season two does have a decent amount of stuff to go through. I mean, we have another 100 tier battle pass. You got two maps, you got some new modes, you know, some more customization and stuff like that. That's all great and dandy. At least we're actually gonna get some campaign kind of events, which would be pretty cool. But still, it's not gonna be like a huge game changing experience when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. You're pretty much gonna be playing new stuff, but just like with more of it. I mean, it's like we're gonna be playing basically the same game with just like a little bit extra content. I don't know, it's just concerning to me as a Halo fan that I really want this game to succeed, but I can't imagine this really being like bringing a lot of players back into the game and keeping people active until November when Forge finally comes around. I feel like this might just be season one all over again. One way to address this continuous issue was the quality of life updates that they're gonna be talking about here. There's things like bug fixes, new features, and or content to address issues of negatively impacting players' experience. And they're calling these drop pods, or basically if there's any kind of issues that are going on with the game, they're gonna be doing these drop pods that will hopefully come in and fix up the issue. Our target is one drop pod every month. Looks like we'll be learning more about these multiplayer narrative events on April, Wednesday, April 27th at 1 p.m. on Halo's Twitch and YouTube. YouTube channels where they kind of go into discussing more about the roadmap details and things like that, which I definitely will be breaking down here on the channel. So if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on this playlist right here. Thank you much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.